Hey everyone, it's Mandy from Daydream Face Painting. Today I'm going to show you this carnival style masquerade mask using the Party Explosion Fruit Punch Rainbow Cake. We're going to start off with a half circle fantasy worldwide sponge loaded up with our colors. And we're going to make a semicircle shape across the top of the forehead. And then we're going to bring it around under the eyes and go to the bottom of the cheekbone. I have used this rainbow cake so much over the last month or so that I've had it. Um, it makes beautiful, vivid, vivid colors and all kinds of designs, but I should let you know that the bluish teal in it can be a little bit stainy, just like in other brands. So you may want to use a silver base underneath. Now I'm going to come in with the yellow and orange and I'm going to make some swooping shapes um, to the side of each semicircle. And then I'm going to use a baby wipe to go in and make those perfect edges of my mask. Now I'll be using the Graffiti Eye Stencil. It's part of the Argyle Booster Pack that you can get. I'm just going to be using the diamond shape for a Harlequin effect underneath the line work. I'm going to be using the Party Explosion Metallic Burgundy on a sponge and I'm just going to be making those Harlequin shapes all throughout the mask. I've loaded up some Superstar Line Black on my number 2 Low Cornell Liner Brush and I'm just starting at the inner corner of the eye, just out from that a little bit and swooping up and then back under the eye like an eyeliner underneath the eye. If you ever get stuck um, in the eyebrow section, just kind of twist or roll your brush through that and it will help you make a nice clean line through the eyebrow. Now using that same number two brush loaded with the Superstar Lime Black, I'm going to come and make some swirls and curls to outline the mask. And now we'll come and make two shapes swooping inward and curling around just to keep adding to the line work of this design. And then we'll add some more. These are almost like um, backward C shapes and looping around at the bottom. Now that I've added a few teardrops in the middle, I'm going to add a teardrop on the side and then a seven shape coming down from each one. So a teardrop, then a seven, teardrop, and a backwards seven shape. We're going to come in later and shape those in with a damp brush. But for now, with a well-loaded number four brush, I'm going to come in with some more of the Superstar Line Black and add black dots throughout the design. This design, once fully complete, took me about 15 to 17 minutes to complete. But if you wanted to, you could just stop right at this point and this would be about a 7 to 8 minute design at this point. Now I'm coming in with the number four brush loaded very well with some DFX white and I'm just going to go throughout all of the black line work and make white accent dots on top. Here I'm going to come in with an angled shader brush that's just damp and I'm just going to pull along the edges 
of the eye area and of those um, seven shapes that I made, made just to give it some shading. And then I wanted a few more white dots just to add, so I'm coming in with some more of the white. Now I've got some black eyeshadow to finish out the design with some beauty makeup. I'm just going to put the black along the outer edges of my eyes and into the crease. And this is totally optional, but for some little extra pop, I'm coming in with a Q-tip and some of the Ben Nye Lumiere's in the sun yellow just to accent all the yellow. And then I'm coming in with some of the Ben Nye Lumiere's in white on a Q-tip to add to the inner corners of the eyes just to give it an extra special beauty makeup look. This is just an optional step. And now to finish off the look, I'll just add a thick coat of black mascara. I've added some skin friendly adhesive to a little jewel and I'm sticking that in the center. And I'll also be using some afterglow cosmetic glitter, not over the whole design, just want to accent it a little bit. And that's the finished look. I hope you guys like this and that you could try this out sometime. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.